Hi guys. Okay, let's answer some questions or just talk about some things. First of all, uh, let's see. Xenon. I, you know, I don't know how to say that, honey, so I hope I got that right or close enough. You'll know who I am. And uh, her question is, I know that Law of Attraction operates in this creation, but what about other creations, other games? And I wrote back to her, only games that use time. And I wanted to clarify that, really, because that's not exactly operate, I mean, true, but... The law of attraction as you think of it, as in that I've taught you that whatever you vibrate at, you send out, and then it, it, the law of attraction as you know it, reads that vibration and sends it back to you, that vibration that you vibrate at, sends it back to you times three, okay? That process of you vibrating, sending it out, and it coming back times three. That is only done in games where linear time space is being used. And there aren't very many games that do that. So is it only here? No. It is used in that manner in other games where there's linear time space. But it is, it is not used like that in everywhere else. But it is used. But the reason why it's a little bit different is because of linear time space. Because in linear time space, there is that you're here and it goes out and then comes back. That's time space, it leaving and coming back. In now time, you simply desire something and it's done. There is no sending it anywhere or having to wait for it to come back at all. You simply want it, and it's done. And it's done better than what you asked, more precisely, more completely. That's what the whole times three thing is about, by the way. It's not just, okay, you're sending it out to the law of attraction, it comes back times three, period. It's not just times three. It's an understanding that whatever you're sending out, that there can be a better version of it, a cleaner, more precise, a more complete version of what you're vibrating at. And that is what is sent back to you, and it reads as times three, three times more. Now, since the law of attraction does not judge things as good, bad, right, or wrong, you can be vibrating, let's say you're in a really bad mood. And you're sending that out. And the law of attraction reads the vibration, guys. The vibration. The frequency that you're vibrating. It does not vi It does not read you're in a really bad mood. It doesn't identify it as you're in a really bad mood. So it's going to send you more. It's, gonna, it's going to take you to timelines where there, you are surrounded more by the vibration that will make you feel more in a bad mood. That's how this works. So you will be surrounded by timelines. There's always other timelines available. You can always turn away from them, but they will be the ones that are the easiest for you to get to. The timelines that are a stronger version of whatever you're vibrating at right this second the law of attraction will make sure that you're kind of faced all the timelines that are right in front of you. The easy ones to get to are the ones that are, you're vibrating more of what you're vibrating right this second. Now you will translate that frequency, the way that you're vibrating, the way that you're, what frequency you're at. You're going to t translate that into how you're feeling, not your emotions because emotions are, they last a long time. Uh, you, you are emotional about a subject. Um, it is an emo love is an emotion as you know it. 
Um, you love your partner. That's an ongoing thing. You love your child. You hate your job. Those are emotional states, and they're, they last for a longer period of time. Feeling changes all the time. Uh, you, you feel love for your partner as you look in their eyes, but you love them, you will say, for all times. Okay? Do you see the difference? Feeling is right this second. And feeling is what you're vibrating at at the moment. It is the frequency that your body is set at. And you will translate that. The only way you can translate that right now in human form, the only way that you can translate that is through how you are feeling. Okay? So when these people help you uh, use the law of attraction to get something that you want, they're going to tell you that you need to, you want a car. They're going to tell you to go get in the car, to act like you're driving the car, to visualize yourself in the car already. The reason why they tell you to do that is because the frequency of, of having the car and being happy because you have the car already, that frequency is the frequency that you want to send to the law of attraction. Okay? The frequency is the frequency of you already having it. Because that way the law of attraction can bring it back to you. As long as you stay out of the way of how that car needs to get to you, it leaves it open to all kinds of ways. However, most of the time the people say, well, I need to have a good job to make the right amount of money to get the car that I want. Or I need to be at the right time, the right place, or I need to be the right age or look a certain way or have a certain job and a certain amount of money to get the person in my dreams. See, all of these belief systems get in the way and all of those systems make you feel a certain way, okay? Let's say you want the car, but you also believe the only way that you can get the car is to have a really good job, to make the money, to be able to go down and buy the car and have the credit that you need to make the payments that you can get the car of your dreams, okay? If you put all that in the way, now you've got feelings of, I'm not ready yet, uh, I'm not good enough yet, and that's how it's translated. If you need a job, a certain job with a certain amount of money to get the car of your dreams, you're saying, I'm not, I'm not there yet, I can't do it yet. That is not God thinking, okay? So therefore, you're sending the frequency to the law of the universe is I'm not there yet. Now, if you feel the right way, you'll say, I'm getting there. I'm, there's a job over there and I know I can get that job. And with that job, I can get that car. Now you've got the feeling of you already got the job. You know you believe you've got the job. So you'll probably go in and you'll get that job. Now you'll save up the money, but you're still saying to the law of the universe or the law of attraction, I'm not worthy yet because I don't have the money yet. I, I've got to develop credit with this new job for six months. If you believe that and you feel like that, you'll vibrate like that. Six months later, after getting the job, you will believe that you've got the credit and you're worthy. Now you're worthy and you totally can feel good about that car. Now you can see yourself in that car. Why? Because you've already checked off the belief systems of what it took to get there. That's law of attraction. But you could have easily have just said, it's my car. I'm a God. It's my car. I want it. It's mine. Known that it was yours, seen that it was yours, skipped all that middleman stuff, and just waited for the car to show up. And it would show up, if you really believed it, it would show up in all kinds of weird ways. Uh, you would go to Vegas and put $5 in a slot machine and come to find out it's your dream car that's up there. And you just want it. Uh, there's all kinds of ways, if you get out of the way, that you can get the car. Uh, little kids do that all the time, by the way. Uh, uh, they do it with their birthdays because you tell them. To ask you to tell you tell them to tell you 
what they want for their birthday or what to tell you what they want for Christmas and Santa Claus will bring it to them or you train them that they get what they want on their birthday or they don't, whichever, most of the time, a lot of times they do. And so their belief system is, I get what I want. Now, then we start dismembering that belief system and we tell them, well, you can get what you want, but you have to go to college, you have to go to school, and then you have to get a good job, and then you have to have good credit, blah, blah, blah. But at the beginning, you teach them that. So these kids will ask for what they want, and they get it. Uh, Stephanie still to this day gets it, because I never stopped that. I had that belief going, and by the time, by the time it got to change that, I didn't see any reason for it. And even when I tried to, when she was, I think, 12 or 13, uh, she looked at me like I was crazy. And she she was like, no, um, I can get it. I'll get it. And she always does. She always does. It's just her idea of what she wants and what the world is is quite different. But back to the point at hand, the law of attraction operates off of what you are vibrating at. You identify that as feeling. This answers a previous question by someone else, too, about her, a couple of people. Somebody wanted to travel the world and didn't know how to do it. Uh, somebody else was asking about how they get what they want. You get how you want by the way that you are feeling. And that is tricky because you have years and years. If you're an adult, there have been years and years and years of people and, and uh, commercials and TV shows and uh, systems, uh, education system and uh, religious systems and your family around you and society that have told you you're not good enough. Depending upon where you've been, it can be you'll never be good enough to you're not good enough yet. But you've been surrounded by you're not good enough. You have to change that. Now, because there's so much of it, there's so many of those things that have been deeply embedded in you. And believe me, guys, I've been there too. I'm doing it too. Like I told you. I've never had a skin suit before. This is extremely difficult, and I'm having to do it too. This is not my expertise at all being here. So what I found is because my history and the negativity that was in my history of dissing me and my bodysuit, putting it down and saying there's no way for so long and in so many ways, that it was just exhausting trying to find them and correct them and re-correct them because they'll, they'll come back over and over again. Which is how I ended up... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Which is how I ended up telling you guys or suggesting that you do what I do, which is just concentrate on being a little bit happier. Because nothing can counter that. If you stay in the moment and keep an eye on how you're feeling in the moment, then, and and say to yourself, and just, you know when you're feeling good, and you know when you're feeling bad. So stay in the good, feeling good, no matter what. No matter what. Now, will you pull it off all the time? No, you won't. But catch yourself and get back on track. If you will do that, will you get the, the supercar? I don't know. Will you get to travel the world? I don't know. But what I do know for sure, that if you're a little bit happier, the law of attraction will put in front of you things that are three times happier, so to speak, than what you are right this second. And for me, for me, that is good enough. I'm good with that. I don't need the supercar. I don't need the fancy house. I don't need the love of my life. I don't need that. What I've, I spent 50 years in hell. Trust me, for me, being a little bit happier and doing that moment to moment, that works for me. And, and I trust that big picture, that I know what I'm doing. 
and I will be at the right place at the right time to give me what I want if I keep myself in that happier state. And if I get a new car or travel the world or find the love of my life, I've been dead. I've seen that this life is very, very tiny in the scope of things. In my existence, this experience is a huge one. It is unique, but it is just one. It's like a single breath of your life here. That's what this life is in the scope of your existence. It's like one breath here. And it may involve traveling the world with the love of my life, or it may involve living in a trailer in Northeast Texas and going nowhere. Either way, it's going to be over quick as a wink, and I'll be back to the existence that I love so much that I care about more than I will ever care about anything that, in, that is on this planet. But that is my existence. If you want those things, really, there are other sites you can go to that you can find them. What I am looking for is I'm looking for vibrating higher to get to a whole new dimension that this planet is already on to find relief in a planet and timelines where we understand oneness more, where a lot of the stuff that's going on now with all of the drama doesn't even exist. That is way more important to me. I'm not saying that that should be important to you. I'm not saying that my desires, my goal, is any better than your wanting uh, the supercar and the love of your life. Yours is just as valid a goal as mine is. I'm just saying that my goal is... Like I've said before, I'm planning on going to Alaska, you're going to Florida, so you really need to ask somebody for directions that's been to Florida before, okay? So I would suggest you go with them. The same concepts apply, but I'm not very good at doing the skin suit at getting the stuff here. I don't vibrate it well. I vibrate really well with heading towards oneness. I can feel that getting better every moment of every day. I know how to walk through that. Now I understand what you've got to do to get the car and the, the stuff from here. It's just that I'm not as good at it. it. takes too long. It's too hard. I don't read them as well, uh, mainly because the, the desire that I have to get to 5D just is so much stronger than a new house or a new car that I can't even concentrate on a car because the other is so much stronger. If your desire for that perfect job and family and car is what's just really in for you, just that's what's there for you, then that's what you need to head for. And there are lots of people that can walk you through that a lot better than me. A lot better than me. Okay? So we'll let that go over there. Now, back to the I do wander don't I in my conversations back to the law of attraction beyond other creations when you are going with the feelings and they go out to the law of attraction and come back see that out and back that's that's time space it takes time and space to send it out and come back when you're on the other side and you're outside of any kind of creation that has linear time space is done instantly. I mean, there is no, there is, n there is no time and space, so there is no, no going out and coming back. So, although the same concept applies, you still create the same way. It's just it doesn't go out and come back um, like that. It, it would never be discussed like that. As a matter of fact, no one even considers it a law of anything. It is just the way it is. It's just, it just is. Okay? Well, hopefully that answered that question. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for my Patreon followers. 
Um, I am going to figure out how to do videos and put up there. I promise you, I am going to figure that out. Thank you for um, people that give to me through PayPal. Again, much appreciated. And uh, I'm so excited to do sessions with everyone who books a session. It is very exciting for me to visit with you all and connect with you. And uh, yeah, one-on-one -on -one is very cool. Rather than, I love talking to you like this, but getting to visit with one of you with everything going to one person is very exciting. So thank you all for booking those uh, sessions. It really means the world to me. So uh, remember to do the thumbs up thing and subscribe. Pass the word around about me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Huge hugs and bye now.